Gacha Claws, the Christmas Enigma, to dropping the best and rarest loot in the Winter Wonderland event in Ark Survival Evolved. But how does it really work with the mistletoe and coal? And how can you improve your chances to get the best loot you possibly can? You're right kids, it's Ras Clark. And in my previous Winter Wonderland guide, telling you everything about the event and what you can win, the question was put to me that what I detailed on Gacha Claws wasn't quite correct. And there's a more efficient way to guarantee you the best loot possible. So, Arc Science time, let's go through all of the options we've got given to understand how we can get the best loot possible. Before we get into it, don't forget to drop a like, a bit of a sub, a bit of a share, and let's go, it's Gacha Claws time. So, I've created a little setup with boxes for each test, spawning in a wealth of mistletoe and coal. So, let's jump into test number one with simply coal on a 150 gacha clause, where it will drop me presents for every 10 coal that it eats. Okay, we've got our first set of crystals, a couple of apprentice crystals, and we're getting a few candies, a few decoratives, but ultimately only one was a weapon. Okay, under test number two, which is simply going to be just mistletoe, where in this test it appeared to only eat so much mistletoe before refusing to eat any more. So we can see the majority of this is weapons or armor, with a few skins and chibis, but nothing really that rare. Okay, on to test number three, where this is using the tip that was given to me on using mistletoe as a buffer. So ensuring the gacha eats 10 coal and only one mistletoe at a time, which does work. You just have to be on top of it and keep feeding it one mistletoe after the other every time it eats it. What I found interesting with this was it didn't always eat the coal. Sometimes it was just the mistletoe. It was almost every other time it dropped a crystal, it would eat both the mistletoe and the coal. And then every other time it was just the mistletoe. Okay, let's run through the crystals we've got here. And loot seems to be pretty good. We've got some riot armor, a bit of journey armor, a bit of flak, a Christmas tree, some more decoratives, and the loot seems to be fairly balanced. We've got a rarer than common chibi. Okay, on to the next test where we're going to do 10 mistletoe and 10 coal and see how this marries up against the one mistletoe and 10 coal. And what I'm finding here is there's perhaps an improved tier of armor, just. There's not a lot in it compared to the one mistletoe. So it's certainly worth your while using the one mistletoe trick. Okay, onto the next test where we're going to see if the level of the gacha makes a difference. So up until now, we've been using a level 150 and now we're going to use the same 10 mistletoe, 10 coal on a level one gacha clause. And of course, there's an element of RNG with all this as the loot seems to be pretty well balanced. In fact, I seem to get more Mastercraft loot with a level one than I did with the 150. I even got an Ascendant candy. Not a bad haul, and it does confirm that it doesn't matter what level gacha you're feeding mistletoe or coal with. Okay, next test is using the principle you use with tamed gachas that mate boost apparently improves that quality. And working through it again, there's not much difference in this. In fact, it seems to be less in quality than the level one and the one mistletoe test. So that leaves only one more test. How many crystals have you got to go through to acquire the new chibis released in Winter Wonderland? And as you can see, I've got an insane amount of crystals here. And we're gonna run through them all and see what we get. So from the standard crystals, out of all of them, I got one of the Christmas chibis, the bulb dog. None of the super rare ones. And gear wise, it was all right. We got a couple of Mastercraft items, but overall that RNG is pretty punishing. It's worth noting, of course, I've got the loot scaling and difficulty the same as official. So if you're playing on an unofficial server with improved quality settings, you might get better loot. But if you want any of those cool new chibis, as this is one of two ways to get those Christmas chibis, you're gonna need a heck of a lot of coal and not so much mistletoe, as we know the one mistletoe to every 10 coal method works. But you're still gonna need a lot of coal to get all of those cool new rare items that you want. 
And that completes the science, the test on what loot you'll expect from Gacha Claws. To sum up, yes, do the one mistletoe and the ten coal. That's the method to use. You can do it on any level Gacha Claws, and it doesn't have to be mate boosted. But good luck, as you're gonna need a heck of a lot of coal to get some of those rare items. Thanks all for watching, kids. I hope this helps. My name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, peace out.